Hello guys, in today's video, uh, we're going to be testing the battery preconditioning system and charge rate of the Genesis GV60. Now we are gonna be doing some driving first and everything. Uh, it looks like the battery's around 15 to 16, maybe 17 degrees Celsius um, for a spread. Um, I have set my destination in here for a charging station and I'm gonna take a couple of screenshots and we'll narrate those along the way as well. All right, and so right here you see in this screenshot, it's showing the minimum and maximum temperature of our battery. This is before we do any of the preconditioning. Just popped up and said battery conditioning for optimal performance, for optimal DC fast charging performance. I know you guys basically probably missed that. Actually in the Genesis GV60, while preconditioning on your battery, it, it makes this little uh, heating icon. Interesting to see. But yeah, basically what that means is it's gonna turn on the heater inside the battery. And with that heater on, it's going to try and heat the battery minimum up until about 21 degrees Celsius. And we'll see how hot it gets. I've got about a 20 to 25 minute drive to get there. We'll see how hot it gets in that time frame. I am at 34% state of charge when starting the battery preconditioning. Um, and yeah, I mean, in all honesty, I've done battery preconditioning a couple of times on my own. It does work pretty well. Um, I will say it kills your efficiency because the battery heater, as you can see here in the middle under elect, uh, electricity use, you can see that battery care uses 4.3 kilowatt. I've seen that go as high as 5.5 kilowatt uh, in the past. So it definitely just uses a lot of power. Um, so your efficiency is gonna be not great, but you gotta start it before 24% state of charge. If you start it under 24% state of charge, it will not heat the battery up. I started it at 23% yesterday. I don't know exactly what the cutoff is um, online. Kia's posting that theirs would be 24% state of charge. So I'm just saying that, but I haven't tested that myself. Anyways, we're gonna check back in with some uh, images from car scanner here once we get to the charging station. So in this screenshot, I was a little more intelligent and had taken the screenshot landscape, but in this you can see we still have the same battery minimum and maximum. This was right after it activated the DC fast charging. Uh, you can see that the coolant and battery heater have started to ramp up in temperature really in earnest, being at about 25 degrees Celsius for both of those. All right, guys, just got here to the charging station. We're gonna check our temperatures, but um, I forgot to mention it is about 57 degrees Fahrenheit out. It is wet, um, so the radiator loop and everything will definitely cool it down pretty, would cool down relatively quickly. And from looking at that, uh, looks like the instant we got here, we actually finished our battery preconditioning. I just missed the image on the uh, the display. Um, but yeah, we're at 22% now and we're gonna plug in and see how fast we get charging. I know anything below 20 degrees Celsius, we would end up charging at about 105 kilowatt. Anything below 15 degrees Celsius, you're limited to about 60 to 70 kilowatt. And instantly ramping up to 140 kilowatt. That's about the max this station will do. It is raining pretty heavily. But yeah, just goes to show that it rained on my camera, really. Let's try that again. Just goes to show that preconditioning your battery will have an impact on your um, charging speed if you have the preconditioning feature available. One thing I forgot to note, um, the Electrify America stations don't seem to be preconditioning pre ready, um, is what I'm going to say and call it. Um, I, there's an EVgo charging station within the same lot as my Electrify America charging station, and that one's network connected, so the car will see that it's there. It sees that this one's there, but it is a different colored um, plug. I should be able to show that on the infotainment screen in a second. Now, uh, once I get that powered on. Unplug vehicle to start. Yes, I know. I'm not actually trying to drive anywhere. Um, but it will not precondition if I set Electrify America in. Um, if I set instead the EV Go station, which I'm gonna flip the camera now. So if I go here, you guys can see that the charging station is either green or gray. 
The gray charging station is not network connected and will not precondition to it. The green charging station is network connected and it'll precondition on route to that station. So I always set my navigation to that one and just come plug in over here because the EV go in my lot. Um, a, I don't get the three years of free charging and B, max is out at 50 kilowatt compared to 150 on my Electrify America station near me. Yeah, uh, it's been a really quick video for you guys. I just wanted to um, showcase how I precondition what I have to do. Basically, you just got to select a charging station that is network connected that is a DC charger. Um, and once you set that as your destination, as long as you're within about 20 miles, 20 to 30 miles of it, um, it should start preconditioning the battery and as long as you're above 25 ish percent. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, comments, videos you want to see me make on the Genesis, I promise I'm doing, I'm doing more content on it soon. I've just been swamped with computers actually, but yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing more content soon.